I mentioned this on Friday and Alyssa Clips clipped it. But Alyssa Clips has this problem. Okay. Alyssa is uh, fucking retarded. And she has this inability to actually state what I say. Now, I don't know if it's intentional. I don't know if it's accidental. I don't care. Alyssa has this inability to say what I say. Her caption, I haven't watched the video. Her caption on the video is, you don't know what it means to be me. You can't understand what it means to be me. You don't know what it's like to be me. This is not what I said on Friday, Sunday. You don't know what it's like to be me. It's not what I said. You don't know what it's like to be me. What I said is, if you achieve a certain level of social media success, it's not me. No one will understand who you are at all, in your local peer groups. You cannot go, and, and this is in the context of uh, church groups and stuff like this. You cannot go to your church group where everybody is the same age as you and has three to seven children. And talk about, oh, well, it's really hard to balance uh, work and life and driving and blah, 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 blah. Unless one of those people is a YouTuber who has hundreds of thousands of subscribers and supporters and people expecting what they do for social media contract of some sort. They, they can't understand. It's not, a, it's not a slight. It's not an insult. They cannot understand it. There are different considerations that you have to make. There are different conversations that you have to have. And there are different things that you have to do and different ways that you have to approach it. If you are not a social media person, you have five kids and a wife and you or whatever, you go to a Bible study and someone says, well, these guys are X, Y, Z. All you do is you go, yeah, that's not actually true. Where'd you hear that? And they go, well, we heard this, this, this. And they're like, that person doesn't know me. That person's mad at me, whatever. When you're a social media person, you go into that room and they say, well, we heard X, Y, Z about you. If they did, most of the time they actually haven't. Most of the time they don't know anything at all because what do they do? They're busy. They're workers. They're humans. But let's say they do. You go and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm this person. X, Y, Z. I, I don't do these things. And they're like, well, but I read you did this. And you're like, but I don't. And here's the difference. In real life, the person goes, oh, well, why'd they say that? And you go, because they're on the internet. They're insane. I don't know. They come up with a narrative. They're like, oh, well, I saw this thing. And you're like, first of all, most of them don't see the thing. They don't care. It's not a big deal. They realize adult entertainment is adult entertainment. They watch rated R shows. They watch rated R movies. They can disambiguate between you and some sort of weirdo. You're providing entertainment, and then you're a person outside of that. They got it. But the people who do, they'll, they'll ask you about whatever, and you go, like, that's not, like, true. They know you. They don't know the anonymous person online. They're not going to go with the person they don't know. But the thing you have to understand is you're not ready or you're partners, your children, your parents, your friends, your peers, none of them are ready for the question that you have to answer. You can answer it all day. None of them are ready for the question. And it's tough. It's a tough thing. I would suggest most people who are married don't do it. And people were bitching at me about uh, broadcasting trials. I, I This is something I went into on Sunday. They're like, oh, when are you going to broadcast another trial? You just do this, you just do that. I want you to look at the people. I want you to look at the people who do trials, who broadcast trials, who watch them. How many of them have children under 18? How many children under 18 do they have? And do they have another job? Because for me, if I want to watch another trial, and I do, Courtney Clenny is coming up, the OnlyFans killer. If I want to watch another trial, I have to go a minimum of however many weeks. And I have to work 12 to 15 hours on a day plus the nighttime with a couple hours nap in between. I have to wake up the next day and do it again and again and again. And I have to cancel every appointment I have, every midday appointment I have. And I have, I typically have two to three midday appointments a week, minimum. I have to cancel all those. I have to push them back for weeks. 
I have to do this thing for 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, and then I have to go online at night and still do my night show because my night show is the actual show. I've always said I will prioritize the night show to everything else. So this is not a complaint. It's the thing where I have to balance that reality with a wife and five children. Other law streamers don't necessarily have a wife and five children to balance it. doesn't mean they don't have considerations. It doesn't mean it's not a sacrifice. It does not mean they're not working for it. I love them. I will tell you to go watch their shows, buy Super Chats, subscribe to their channels, whatever you need to do all day, all day. Please go do that. I'm just telling you why I can't always do it. And the reality is, is that most days, like the past couple weeks, I haven't had time at home. I've not been home for two hours at a time. If I'm home for two hours at a time, it's nighttime I'm sleeping. I'm unconscious. If it's daytime, I'm not home. I wake up, I take my kids somewhere. I go back home. I go to sleep for another hour, hour and a half. I wake up take my kids somewhere, get ready, get them ready, get their stuff together. Then I go back to sleep when they leave. And then I wake up another hour and a half later. I'm getting very little sleep at night. I don't mind. It's the greatest job on the planet, but it's not conducive to doing eight to 10 hour live streams in the daytime. I'd have to stop several times or specifically plan ahead. This is all I'm saying. People who are able to do that are making massive sacrifices. They're giving up their time and their treasure to you. They don't always have kids. They don't always have a wife, but they all have a life. They all have something they would do other than streaming. It's really tough for me. Unfortunately, maybe, maybe not. The things that matter to me in life supersede my desire for super chat bucks. And I love super chat bucks. So um, I would love to cover the trials. They're always good for me. I can't always do them because I'm busy. And I'm not busy with fun stuff. I'm busy with life. I'm busy with having kids. I'm busy with having a wife. I'm busy with having to balance the schedule and work that out. But that's way more important than someone's temporary enamorment with me because I covered some trial they cared about. Um, I, I don't know where I started on this. I had another thing to say. Fuck. Fucking hell. I don't know, guys. It doesn't really matter. YouTube is YouTube. People can be mad at me for what I do or not. The best advice I can give you is this. If you are mad about what I do or you want me to do something else, please find the entertainment you're looking for. You will not find it here. I can't give it to you. I've never represented otherwise. Find the entertainment you want. Go watch it. There's no loyalty. There's nothing else. Just a TV show. Go watch it. 